Now we are sinking. And it's not the way it is, just. It's just. No, it's just. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's just. 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 I want to get as much information as I can get about you from you. Oh. So I've known you, I've known you for a couple of years. And uh, we've been friends five, seven years. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God, wow. I think, yeah, five, seven years. It's been a while already. Yes. And uh, I know you a bit, but the purpose of this interview is to get to know you more, you know, especially um, as an actor. You know, as a person. And as an actor. Okay, <laughs> do your thing. Yes. <laughs> as a as an actor. But uh, I'd like to start with... You want? Yeah, of course. You got to move form. <laughs> Let me take this off. No kisser. No. Damn, you are bad. <sighs> Feels good. I'm going to test as ghostly. I want to start with a, a small game. A game? Quiz, yes. Oh, God. So, I'm bad at games. I don't like care. I'm sorry about it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. So don't you, see my downfall, Abby. So if you fail, if you fail the question, you're going to drink, which you want oh, to do anyway. Okay. So anyway, let me just yeah. Let's just let's just wait till you fail before you drink. Wow. <laughs> you're with my failure. I your failure. But they are very simple. Very very simple Better questions. Be <laughs> very, just <laughs> three. Just three, and they're very simple about acting. Oh God. So number one, which is the odd one here? Holding area. You better listen now. You're I'm coming in. <laughs> Number one, holding area. Mm -hmm. Number two, stand in. Number three, sides. Number four, first position. Number five, do X machina. First position. No, it, 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 what do you call it again? Drink. I'm no, no, no. What, what do you call I it I said again? which one is the odd one here. Uh -huh. And then you mentioned them. Yes. Would that, do you want to stand in? Or just I said standing. I can go again. Holding area. Holding area. Standing. Stand in his film. Sides. First position. Do X machina. Ah, man, I need to really think. Why? 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 Why asking me this? <laughs> because I wanted to feel that drink. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have to really think of everything and be like, some are, some sound like theater stuff, some sound like film stuff. Yeah. So, so in some way. Like, I don't feel like there's a wrong answer to this thing. There is, but it's deeper. So, it's deeper? Yes, the answer is do ex machina. I mean, clearly, because it's ancient and it's Greek and it's all that crap. <laughs> Maybe it's contemporary. Do I, mean, but I don't think because... <laughs> I don't, you don't want me to explain it. I don't, I don't need to have Oh my God. I, I think I should. The, yeah. other, the others sure. are... The others are... No, I'm not understand the question, so it's easy for me to understand. Yeah. yeah. The others are production terms, doing production for the actors, mm. right? Like holding area, this is where the actors are standing, somebody standing for the actor. Yeah. Sides, actors get sides. First position, actors But this is, position. Is, 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 is the technique. Is the technique. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, the technique. So. But guess what? For me, I, I don't think of it as technique. When I think of that word, I think of some god flying from the stage. Like, that's what yeah. I see, like a Greek stage, and then the guy yeah. come and say, all, I mean, tie up all the loose hand, ends in this story, and yeah, then that's well, it. Yeah. Well, look at it from the origin of it, but today yeah. it's a technique. Do people, use that? Do people still use that shit? What, do Machina? Yeah. A lot. A lot. Um, this, what's his name? Kunle Afanaya used it somehow in, what's that story about um, the lecturer that was, that was sleeping with um, Citation. Girl. Citation, he used it in a way. I thought it was a very interesting film. Yeah. Next question. It's purely aesthetic, aesthetically. Number two, <coughs> which of these Nigerian actors featured in Mr. Johnson? Yo, that's a long time ago now. Mr. Johnson? I know Mr. Johnson a long time ago. That was Yubat Ogunde in Joss ah. with um, P.S. Brosnan. <laughs> I know my shit, sharp, look. Sharp. You know, yeah. I know sharp, my shit. Sharp, 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 ah. nice, yeah. nice, my, my nice. heart is just a good. <laughs> Number three, 
which of these actors, now I'm asking you this question because I know your theater background. I know you studied theater in Ilorin. And Lagos. So, and Lagos, yeah, your masters. So this is a theater film ah. question. Yeah. Which of these actors is not a stage actor? So the actor is only a film actor. Viola Davis. I am. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you laughing. Viola Davis. I am McKellen. Oh, my daddy, my grandfather. <laughs> ah. Denzel Washington. Francis. Leonardo DiCaprio. And Patrick Stewart. Hey, you fucked me up there, no. Because <laughs> now I'm like, I don't know that DiCaprio did the theater. My business. Uh, no, that's not my question. And Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I mean, I don't really watch a lot of white guys, so uh, right now it's almost like, wait, but that, that's the guy from the movie with um, Uppe Goldberg, hmm? the ghost movie. Patrick Stewart and uh, McAllen. No, I'm saying. They are like Magneto and, you know, so. Is that, is that, that's who Patrick Stewart is. That, is that who Patrick Stewart is? is. is the, oh, the that? guy from the wheel? Yeah, that's Patrick Definitely Stewart. Definitely the theater. I'm, I'm going with DiCaprio. Definitely, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DiCaprio is the answer. Yeah, well, I, Ian, the Ian, is, Ian, Ian, is, Ian is, Ian is the master. Ah, God, he's such a beautiful actor. He's such a beautiful And you know, I, 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 I was watching, so I, I was in the news. He was, he was, doing, he was, doing, a, he was doing Hamlet. Yeah. And then Paparazzi got a picture of him on the sidewalks, like he was on the curb going through his lines. His lines. And he's like, he, he's in his 80s. Yeah. And he's still on the curb. Passionate. And in his lines, like he, he didn't go, oh, I'm so fancy. I'll probably yeah. be in my room or something. Like he's yeah. out in the streets, like, I just get my shit. I'm like, wow. So yeah. as an actor, what's the whole thing about you being a star? To yeah. the point where you can't do the things that you need to do to do your work. Because yeah, you feel like it's beneath you to rehearse. Yeah. You know, I, I don't understand why people say they can't, they don't want to rehearse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that for me, it's just bad attitude towards the work. Yeah. I mean, there are some people that think that rehearsing spoils the spontaneity. It's not just us here, even, in, even abroad. Even yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 heard, yeah. I heard that De Niro and... I'm sorry, I like to refer to those guys a lot. I know you like Africa and Africa. No, no, but, but it's fine. I mean, yeah, De Niro is cool. We love him there. Yeah. Um, De Niro and this guy that played the Joker, what's his name? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was angry at yeah, Phoenix. Angry like, what the fuck went to rehearse? We like, have to get our lives, man. Like, yeah, like, you know. About. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I read that. Yeah, I read yeah, that. Yeah. I read that. And, I read and that. for me, I'm somewhere in the middle. Mm. I feel like I don't want to rehearse too much, especially for film. I feel like I don't want to, I want to rehearse, but not too much, so that I still maintain that the sense of you're living in the moment. Yes, and then you know when you're on set, a, a little an expression can change. Oh yeah. You know. Oh the, yeah. The, the second, the other actor can change his lines a bit, and yeah. that's you know. That sometimes, sometimes it's just a pause, and then it just exactly. changes the entire scene. Yeah. So I don't yeah. want to know my lines too much. Like. But in when, when I watch American films now like well-directed movies. I can't see how they improvised anything there. Yeah. It's almost like it's just too fine. Yeah. It's just too clean to be improv. And then I, I hear of like directors who go, I know, I know of Nolan, like you can't touch his Tarantino. You can't mess with his lines. Yeah. You can't mess with their lines. Yeah. You cannot, so you have to deliver the lines. And so. And you have to act it like as if it's spontaneous yeah, anyway. Uh, anyway, and, 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 and that's <laughs> also like have a rhythm. I was, I was telling a friend, I'm like, you know, in Nigerian films, when we, when we act, we always have like a steady tempo. Yeah. So it's um, hi, hi, what's up? So what? It's never. What's it, da, 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 da. We, yeah. we never have like heated conversations that, that are neatly directed, and neatly yes, performed, and neatly yeah. delivered. We never have that. Yeah, it's, it's always. It's always. Huh. Everything is. I always. You know, I'm a writer, so I always take it so to ma many things. So that I'm a writer. I'm not, not really a writer. Oh. Yeah, I wanna be. <laughs> What? Yeah, I want to be. What? Um, I always think back right. to writing. I always think back to writing mm. because the writing too has to be, you know, has to have that reading yeah. that leads the actors. Oh yes, definitely. Up definitely. To that. Yeah, yes, so definitely. you know, it's always there's always that um, that death. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, 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 something like that. Now that I think about it, I, now that, I, that I think about, it, I think of um, Death Making the Horseman that I did at mm. the Terra Culture last year. The not I bird part. Yeah. It's so long, yeah. and I'm thinking, as an actor, how do you power through those lines without boring your audience? It's mm. a lot of lines, like yeah. 10,000 stanzas. Yeah. But I'm sure he didn't write it for us to be 
so and then the, yeah, it, exactly. it has to be, have some quickness yeah. to it if not you lose yeah. and i think we, we have, i don't know why maybe it's just me but i feel like nigerians think the audience is not smart enough to cast the lines when they're yeah. fast yeah right yeah, right. but, but, but when you watch american films and they're fast we, we hear it and we follow yeah but it's, it's, it's also that in nigeria we speak slower than them do we do? yeah we do you will watch we this do. you watch this now and see how fast you're how, no, how fast we you're talking no we do we speak slower than americans come on we, are you sure we speak slower definitely in English or in, in our English. native no, but in, in, in our native tongue. In our, yes, it's, it's, it's so a lot it's, faster. It's, it's more of your native because you are careful yes. not to see how exactly. not to have exactly. a fast tongue. A lot of things language. are, are in the, exactly. in, you know, but Yoruba there's no. Yes, Yoruba, exactly. Yes, speaking faster because you are. But in pigeon, it's more beautiful. It it would be faster in pigeon. Definitely. This is why I feel like if you have to shoot anything that goes to the Oscars, it can't be in English. That's exactly. It has to be in like the That's English. Language and it's and it's where I feel like these Yoruba guys. I mean, I'm a Yoruba guy, so I'm like, I feel like these are the ones who yes. should be in the, you know, in the running for these things because they built the culture. I mean, Hibat you can't, you can't mention 10 great pioneers in filmmaking without mentioning that Yoruba guys. Mm -hmm. you know, they were very fundamental to the growth of the industry. So it's like, you guys started this. It grew out of... You know, you guys yeah, owned the National Theatre. You guys held the narrative for a very long time. And now you guys are not considered to be yeah. the industry, you are, you are the other. Because and now the, the English quality, guys are now the... Because of the quality that they put out is, is just... Yeah, but I'm saying, but how about... Well, I feel like the Yoruba guys now lost... They, they did not improve. Yeah. They didn't try to finesse what they had. Yeah. They had I mean, I'm like, why don't we have a properly, pre properly shot cinema movie in Yoruba? Like, proper movie in Yoruba. Mm -hmm. Why? Like, what's stopping them from saying, ah, guys, let's come together and shoot something that's, you know, beautiful? Because they have the language. And I feel like that language is what is like... It's very important. Uh, I think of someone like Larry Paymon, for example, I feel like that guy should be one of the greatest actors ever. Because mm. he's, he's the delivery, the, mm. the, the, the incantations. Mm -hmm. In any like Igbo, Yoruba, what, to, if it's to do that incantation in that language, it takes... You can't even speak Yoruba confidently. No. And then you have someone who can actually speak it, and then the deep, deep spiritual one, and then he's going like <laughs> back to back for like 10 minutes yeah. straight, not even breaking. If it was, it was Den Delu is doing that shit, they'll be like, oh, exactly. the fucking moment. Exactly, because that's his language, he's comfortable in it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. No, but aside that, but it's going to be like, wow, he's just giving this line, like, ta -ta, he's not even breaking. He's not, he's just there. Like, how, how do you go? You know, and, and we have like geniuses, but we don't respect them. Yeah. We don't. That's, that's, we'll get there. Eventually. We'll get to legacy and all that. But better. Um, let me, I want to begin with a question that um, that links you with um, theater and film, because I know, like I've said before, I know you study theater. So I Didn't ask, you? I what did, is it? I, I know did. you. Didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to know, um, you, I, I, I know a couple of your works, um, you know, I know, and I know that you do a lot of uh, stage plays. Mm. You do st you do stage plays more than films. Yeah, I, 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 I mean I have yeah, for the past. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And you know, um, so this question is um, fundamental and very specific to you because specific to me. Yes, yes, because you have you, you are, um, <laughs> um, I like to think. I believe personally. It's not like I sit down thinking about you, but <laughs> are you sure you don't think <laughs> about your career? Me? Are you but, sure you don't you think know, about me? Like I said. Well, friends so I, I of course there are moments where i think ah, why is mashud always doing stage you know i've thought about it a couple of times okay you know and i, I feel like it's because you know stage gives stage uh gives more opportunities for other characters types of characters types of not, not just types of characters for um there's there's an elasticity that mm. there's I'm trying to find the right words. Um, and he's a writer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, writers take time to find find the right words as well. So it's not by that. <laughs> Disastrous writer. I mean, um, so let me just say it down that we are, we are 30, 31, I think. 31 today. Today? 26, when you think gets released. Oh, wow. <laughs> and yeah, a bit smallish. That's oh. what I'm saying. It's very specific to you. Yeah, a bit smallish. Oh. Yes. You know, wow. Do you know where I'm going to? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, smallish. You you don't look thirty one. That's a know. good thing. So there are some there are some roles that will come to me. That will come to you for film because yeah. you know film yeah, tilts more like. towards realism. You know it's, you have to look like. But this the is real reality thing. though. Y yes, but this is your reality though. Yeah. And people, uh, producers don't look beyond that. They can't see you as a husband. They won't see you as a husband. They'll hardly. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a husband to be fair. Yeah, but you. 
as a 31 year old, you could. I mean, that's what's supposed to be, to be fair. I'm the same. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be 31 in March, and I, I can play a husband. Though. So, what do you love? I'm coming in this. Ah, <laughs> that's you, know. <laughs> you know, like they would rather give me a role, give me the role of a husband yeah, before they even consider you. I, do you I, I, I play your son. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play my son. I have 31. You know what? Happens, happens with somebody like, like, Wait, let like me finish this question. Yeah. But now you go to the stage mm. and you are playing a kintola. Do you understand oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. That's what I'm saying now. Yes, the stage gives that space for a different kind of physicalities. Yeah. And it, it's, it's more global in a sense. Mm. A black man can play Hamlet. I mean, a, anything, Hamlet, ha um, Ian, yes. it's something played Hamlet. Exactly. Um, <laughs> this was his name. This man, that just, um, Denzel just played Macbeth. Yeah, you know, I mean, so yo. The black man and all you know, that. Yeah. So the stage allows for that kind of... Yeah. Um, Flexibility. Yeah, that versatility. versatility and flexibility, mm. but this film doesn't really allow nah, that. Yeah, so don't. is that the reason why you find yourself on stage more? Because it gives you more opportunities. Because I see, I feel like if you want to find roles in um, Nollywood, it's going to be difficult for you, especially with your age and, you know, mm. there's, a, there's a way that your, your, your age affects your personality yeah, but, and the way you um, act. And all that, and then they want to give you a, a teenager role and all that, and it's not. To be fair, though, I've never played any teenager. Okay. In the uniform wearing sense of it. Yeah. I always I told myself I said, "What should you would never wear a uniform." <laughs> I told about the screen uniform, like, you would never. Like I always am like because n coming from where I, I came from, theater, and knowing how good I was and knowing wh where I wanted to go in life. The way we write characters here, what can they write for a teenager? The guy, in, like, what can they write that would really drive you in the way that it should? You know, I, I, if I wanted to play a teenager role, I'd, I'd be thinking in a role like um, Will Smith in Bel Air, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm -hmm. I feel like as a character, you, you get to see the character in different ways, not always, oh, your students in school have to play that stupid thing. Yeah. You know, I, which is why I like a series like, um, what's it called, called the um, Cosby's series. Different, it's a different world, a different world. I think it was a different world. It was guys in uni, okay. in college, just like vibing and talking about stuff. And I, I, I like that. I, same, that, that's why I like um, dear white people. Same, same way I like brownish. I feel like young people are interesting. Just don't look at them as just yeah. uniforms, you know. Because I, I told myself I wasn't going to do that anyway. So I think that's kind of, and that's why my, it, I don't really get to do. Look at Fishbone. He's just some guy. Yes. We don't get seen in school. Exactly. Look at Focus. Focus is even, I, I think Focus is one of those rare roles where you see a young man who has his shit together, has a house, does his things, go to work. That, I liked it because it felt like, oh, it's not the usual. That's what I'm saying. You so get. so I've been lucky in that regard yeah, to have okay. been on a few projects, you know, like that. And thankfully, they've been with great producers, great directors, so they've had some kind of visibility that gave me like, oh, because really, how do we know Moshe in the film industry? What has he done the way you think about it? It's just like my rep, my rep from, my, my reputation from um, theatre just kind of spilled over into that. Yeah. And I, I love theatre as well because, like you said, it allows me to... I played Gandhi. Exactly. I played, yes, I played Gandhi, exactly. You know, and yeah. I couldn't do that on film. We don't even have the budget for raising the first place. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even think to cast someone like me. Like, who is he? How many followers does he have? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You all know, those, all but I don't know how long I, I will live on this earth for. Yeah. I might die tomorrow. Like, I die tomorrow now. I, I know that. Oh, I was. I, I was psh, yo. <laughs> yo. It comes to anybody, man. But my point is, if I should die tomorrow, I can't say I didn't enjoy acting. Yeah. Because I got to explore different characters. I can't keep waiting for films to give me the opportunity. There is that. Then there's also the of payments so let's just say i got comfortable doing theater mm, okay so the seven means to end okay, money you just got comfortable yeah which is weird because in nigeria yeah like film generally it's tough to, more it's tough to yeah more, but more, okay more. like well then it's like the the level at which i perform theater arts is yeah. something i've got also considered like i mean how many theater production gets to fly you out and take yeah. you on tours and you know have a show that's gone fella has has been staged a uh, hundred times now across the world how many shows can boast like that in Nigeria? Yeah. So I've just been lucky to be in that space where I can be like, you know what? I have three shows with my name in it. I can always travel when I want. Yeah. There's, there's always going to be a December, a, an April show, da, da, da. So that, that has given me that, you know, 
I've been able to relax off of off of that. And then the people who must are always come to the theater anyways is watching, so they know me like, oh, we know this guy doing this. So in terms of visibility, I think that even gives me visibility because I mean, it's culture. Everybody comes to terror culture. They know, and so they know me. So I think that kind of helped me. And I didn't just like the things I heard on film sets. Okay. Hmm. How they carried themselves, how they how they conversed, how they didn't have their shit together. Okay. Like I'm going on the film set, and I'm hearing things like, "Bring your own shoes." I'm like, "What the what the fuck is this? What?" Okay. Bring your own what? Yeah, I, like what? Coming like, from that, I've never had to think about. I've never had to think about. It's um, weird. Even even in terms of welfare, like yeah. what hotel am I staying in, or who's flying me, or I've never had to go out of the country to perform in a bus. Why would I be in a bus? It's always been planes, man, and hotels. And like, I'm used to that security. That's you know where it should be at terror. Mm. So going to film is like ah, going to this film set again. If you lodge now, if you if you end that. If you end late, it's almost like, how, how do you get you home? They don't have a hotel. I can, no, I'm, I'm not going to put myself through that fucking stress. Nah, for how much? And then you get to hear that you could be in a big movie, shoot one scene, you'll be paid for that one day, mm-hmm. for that one time, for that thing. Mm-hmm. When the movie comes out, it's everywhere. So they think that you earn a lot of money. Yeah. Like, but not vexed, you're just paying for that day. Yeah. So it's like you'll be in this big movie, but you're paid this much. What the fuck is the point? And I don't like it, because I'd rather be unknown and, have, and be okay than to be like really blown and be broke. Yeah, I agree. Because once you're famous, like film famous, you have to always like, you have to be in your car, you have the, to do da 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 There's also the uh, angle of how fame, uh, you know, brings mm. money, especially in Nigeria. You, you that, that, especially no, in no, Nigeria. No, but I, I can't fold that. Thankfully, I, I can't talk too much on this because I sign shit, but it's like, projects have lined up for me to almost, to, for, for that to happen eventually at some point, if I you know followed through and everything goes well, so that's why I'm just gonna like I'm, my moves are very quiet. You don't get to see my BTS on Instagram or whatever. You don't get to see. I, I never show. Oh, I'm working with this person. I'm working with that person. I was just showing in Kai who I was who's my new best friend, and he couldn't even believe my best friend, my new best. Like you and her, like this is the greatest, most famous, successful actor in the country, and he's like that's your friend. Like you guys text, yeah, but I'm not gonna show the entire world. I rather just, just make like chill. No, I know this person. I know, I know I don't think you know this person anyway. <laughs> so it's like, because I mean, I have a couple of really, really famous yeah. successful friends, but I'm not saying like, I'd rather like not. Like me, like me. Yeah, yeah there is you. I mean, I'm glad to know you. But like, I'd, I'd rather just see me move from A to B. Don't see my yeah. two. Just see me here. It's yeah, that fine. mystery is always good for actors. Yeah, especially. I, I was going there exactly. Mystery, mystery is always a good element. We're exposed element, to much. Yeah. Like, see me, I'm on set with this person. I'm yeah. on set with this person. Yeah. What the fuck needs to know that? Let me just see the film and do what you have to do. What exactly. are business with, um, with this person with RMD? Da, 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 da. Someone was telling me something. I was on the set with Mr. Johnson. Why <laughs> are you laughing? <laughs> I don't mind. Should shoot in a movie right now, actually. And then, um, I think was the director. I came to meet him and, and asked him, like, why haven't you taken a picture of Mr. Johnson? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is that? You're asking me why I haven't taken a picture of this person? Why, why would I, why would you think? Cause I, apparently, in, in this part, it's a culture to, to want to take a picture with a film star. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with taking, but why do you have to ask me? Why is it a necessity? Yeah, but I feel like, I but why, know, why, why do I do that? Why is that a question? My birthday was <laughs> last year for my birthday. Mm. I don't know if I told you. My birthday gift, I got a birthday gift from Bolanio St. Peter's. Okay. And it was a meeting with Olisha Inka. Oh, wow. And... Do you it, know one weird thing is that I'm a huge fan of Olisha Inka, but I've never met him. That's strange. Like... You bad boy. And I'm a writer. I'm a, yeah. I'm a playwright, I'm a relationship card disciple, and I've never met him. I, I had one chance, sorry, you get back mm-hmm. no, fine, fine, I had fine. one chance to meet him. I was on a train, I was coming from Ibadan to Lagos, yeah, he and train. he joined. Yeah, he joined us at um, Abiyakuta, I think. Mm-hmm. And he was, in this, he was there, he was seated there. Like that's and the all I could have just done was go to Bolesha and say, Esa, Esa, I'm mm. a playwright, sir. Um, and no, but, I, but I, you know, thank God you didn't. No, no, he, 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 can be, he, he can't be young. He, he wouldn't. Do you know why? Why? Because he because knows he my father. Yes, ah, no, my he, father he, worked for him. In he, just flex, he just flexed. He just like. Yeah, I mean. Oh, but on that, that yes, makes sense. Like, ah, father, yeah. No, just, so it's not, it's my not father a fun worked thing. for him. Yeah, it's not a fun thing. Yeah. It's like. Um, Although, you're yeah, a fun. Yeah, of course. <laughs> my father worked for him in his theater company. My father was one of his main best actors. Oh. According to my father. If he give me bubble. <laughs> you know, my mother too. Hmm. My mother worked for him as well. You hmm. know, so if I go to him and say I am, and he has seen me on stage. Oh, yeah, he has seen me on stage. Yeah, you know, so. But I just sat down there. I was like, "Well, this guy is there. Yes, yes." <laughs> I, I think for you was like, I don't want to fuck this up. 
So that's your. I don't want to ruin this. Like, nah, if I meet this person, I can't just. Like, give me your play, and he reads and says, What's this one? What's this one? You never make it in life. You're fake. You have no heart. Live! Or something, but, um, yeah, there is that. So she she gave me that meeting with him. Okay. And it was at his house. Not the one where we think it is. <laughs> Apparently, he hasn't that crib, yeah. which I think went to. Okay. And, um, what is the house? I'm sitting across this, this man. I'm just like, wow, this is the man, you know, who's meant a lot to me personally because I directed the King's Horseman in school. It's only level. Terrible. <laughs> Kongi ha- Kongi's harvest the next year. So, I mean, I, I, I fuck with him, you know. Yeah. Is that even right to say that? It's very wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. Like, <laughs> it's like, can't be that. It's it's like <laughs> I apologize. Anyway, so it's like, I, I love his work and... Directing that play back in uni helped me to understand playing Ella in Morimi the musical because it's similar characters, Olundi and Ella. They both die to save whatever. So, based on that, I was able to even understand the play, the whole for, um, fourth realm, fourth yeah, stage, Chitonic fourth realm. stage, realm and everything. Yeah. Helped me. And then going forward to now play Olundi now in a professional production yeah. with him watching across me. But then before that, so I'm in this guy's home. And, but guess what? He's, he's, he's not the most best dressed. Yeah, and I go, I mean, I can't take a picture with this guy looking like this. Nah. And, and, and then it's like, man. in his home, yeah. I'm not going to take a picture with him. You know what, well, fuck it. It's just going to be something that, a moment that I treasure for, my, for myself. Like, I was in this moment with this person. Yeah, but the, the, the point of... The point but I'm not going to put it on, on Insta and be like, oh... Yeah, exactly, but you can't take a picture with him for yourself No, but well. I didn't, I didn't. I, 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 I think to. you should have, actually. Pictures remind you, not just other people. In case I have like Parkinson's or something, oh my god. Exactly. I'm, exactly. What if, what if you have Parkinson's next? And, and I'm like, who's that old like, man? Who, 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 I mean, I remember reminding you that this is just the time. No, but I'm saying on camera right now, so you guys know it happens. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no evidence. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean, but you can't see I mean, there's no evidence. Yeah, but I'm telling you what happened. No my, my point is, for me, in that moment, it wasn't about photo op. Yeah, I get I get this person, yeah, the Enjoy moment, the man. moment you are yeah. with them and just learn something. And then just every, everything is like, oh, we have to, oh, we have to, yeah. oh, we have to. How about you just be present? Yeah, I agree. You know, yeah. So for me, it's almost like, for, for, so for me, I'm, I'm so anti, I'm so anti-fame. Sort of like, which is actually very oxymoronic like, because I'm in this I field. Think so. But it's always important to have a sense of, to ground yourself in something, not just and, be. And the oxymoron is just beyond the profession. Your personality also has, a, a, I don't want to hype you up and say just do attractive. It. Just say it, say it. But say it. yes. <laughs> say it. When you come into your room, just... Don't say yes. My personality <laughs> is what? <laughs> you just... You own the room, you know, in your own peculiar I, way. I hear that a lot. Yeah. But I don't know how that happens. Yeah, it's just a personality thing. Wow. And there are different ways to do it. The people have different ways. People that have character and personality... Hope mine is not barbarian, though. No, it's not. Okay, you, thank you, you. you. Well, in the rooms that I have been, I don't know the okay. other rooms. Okay. That's that not anything sexual. <laughs> the that I've been. Been, not, it's, not been, it's not been overbearing. I feel like you know when to, you know, balance. Yeah. Your, your yeah. Stuff. So, so it's, it's it's more of, it's funny because you have that kind of personality that that demands fame. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh. Yes. I, 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 know what that demands fame I think that's where the confidence comes from. And it takes a, a lot of courage, a to lot of courage to be that vulnerable and say, "I'm doing the correct thing." Mm. You know, even if yeah, because everybody's telling you what to yeah, do. Yes, everybody's like, telling you that you're not yeah, yeah. giving enough, and this. But it's not your fault, though. Of course, that's, it's not your fault. It's, it's a tradition. Yeah. But you have to be so confident that when it comes out, because most of most of it, mm. only, you, you only get vindicated most times when it comes out, and they can see, oh, so he actually knew what he was mm-hmm. doing. Yeah. Like I know what I'm doing. The camera can see it. Don't mm. worry. You can see it. You're not paying attention. You're not close up. Yeah, yeah, they are know, watching you live. I said, yes, I'm against the monitor. I feel like they watching, make that mistake a lot. Yeah. Watching other things. Mm-hmm. The camera is looking at my face. Don't worry. The camera can look into yeah. my eyes right now. And to see everything. Exactly. So I show enough. I, I, I show enough right now for the. I show enough for the close up. What? Why show enough now? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, you know. Yeah, there, yeah, there is that. So those, that, having that sense of what it means to give yourself to a scene. On Valentine's Day, I was in bed with somebody. And. With the person and <laughs> we're just talking and I just realized I hadn't had a pillow talk in a very long time. Mm. Just to be in bed with someone and just like 
talking and just like yeah, so this happened to me. And, and it wasn't something <laughs> even sexual, safe. Yeah. Talking life shit. Just like talking about, I'm like, wow, this is a fucking good scene. Yeah. Plus, you're just being honest, being vulnerable. I'm tearing up. You're tearing up. You're laughing you guys through are it. Crying. And just like, wow. What? So you guys were crying. Yeah, cause you know we we talk about death. Yeah, always, <laughs> always talk about yeah, death. Yeah, you know, and <laughs> and just how we just went in on this. I'm like, wow, this is beautiful to watch. I, this is what I want to do. So now when I want to go into a scene, I feel like something that people in theater have a challenge of. We perform for the audience for the last seats. Yes, you're yeah, right. It's always how do I perform this yes. scene so you can hear every little thing yes. I am saying. You have it's to hear everything. It's always about hearing. You know, and I have to always power through every emotion. If it's going to be taking this cup, it has to be <laughs> fucking just oh, spill the shit of myself. But you have to always have this yeah. dramatic yeah. thing because you're just taught to always own every moment. Yeah. Sometimes things have to just be soft. Sometimes just move. Mm-hmm. Just it's the nature of the, it's the medium. Yeah, so coming to yeah. film, it's been kind of challenging. I mean, it's almost like, how do we enunciate without over-enunciating on film? Yeah. How do we not turn everything into theatre in some way? It may not yeah. even be in the sense of projection, but just even in terms of the audience as well. As yeah. What is he doing? Yeah. You know, and you know, doing? and I know what I found out. I found out how film is a very invasive medium. Mm. It comes in on you, like exactly. it comes in on you, like it really comes in on you, like. And a lot of people don't know. You know, I, I was having an argument with someone, I think on Film Rats. Mm-hmm. You know about how the person was talking about how actors can be divas and all that. Mm-hmm. I'm saying if you have, if you have never been an actor, don't speak like that. Please, Do you, because you don't know what it is like to be in front of the camera and everyone the is looking, looking at, at you in that moment and they're waiting for you to either mess up or yeah. give them a fantastic performance. Everybody. What they think is a fantastic performance. Yes, what they think, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And there's another level to it. Everybody's looking at you. The camera is mm-hmm. spying into your soul. Your soul. Everybody's looking at you. And you have insecurities as well. My, like you, like, know, like, and everybody's looking at you. So when you leave there, hmm. you know that can, you know, being an actor just makes you more conscious of What's your physicality, ah. of, you know, because so, so over, over many years ah. you become a diva in quotes because you want to be treated right. Yeah. Because you are on the spotlight. And, and, and because and, you want to look good as well. Yes, and everybody's, so they're, they're, they've, they've watched the film and, they, and they've seen your hair and they say, say I head on chop, Seth. Yeah. And you've heard that comment, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I like, guess in the way. Say I head on chop, Seth. Yeah, that's you, one thing. You know? I, I feel like, also, so like we uh, also need to, um, let's talk about that for a minute. What beauty means? Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that. Yeah, I think we should talk about that. Like, what, <laughs> what, what, what makes me beautiful? Like, what is beautiful? Yeah. Um, a couple of friends, I think it was OG Goodness, we were discussing okay. um, Grill. Yeah. Grill. <laughs> the Grill. The Grill. <laughs> and um, um, someone was talking about how beautiful you are on screen, like, mm. it's really so beautiful. And I remember watching um, the movie with shots. Um, and the winner is, is, and I'm yeah. like, wow, it's actually true. It's like, it's actually, you're, like, you're beautiful. I could watch, you have like the most adorable eyes. <laughs> Some of us don't yeah. have the most adorable eyes. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we, have, we have great smiles, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, beauty and yeah, which especially like in front of the camera. I'm going to bring this now to talking about beauty standards, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, 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 and yeah, insecurities. Thank you, anyway. You're welcome. Like, I, if, if it's interesting because I prefer to re, um, receive such um, compliments from guys than girls. I don't know, I feel like it's more honest when it comes from guys, it's benign, like, yeah, it's for just me. honest. Even girls, I me. just feel like they don't sort of. I don't know, those, <laughs> I don't know, just, I don't know if it's just feel honest. Anyway, so... But, so for me, it's, I, I'm a nine too. Yeah, it's, it's, Wow. I don't I'm, know for me, shall No, 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 no. Yeah, no, so, no. but, um, you know, actors, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that can make an actor insecure, you know, standards of beauty, complexion. My pimples make me insecure. Really? So not, not insecure, I don't say insecure, that's not the word to use. <laughs> Self-conscious. Self-conscious, yeah. like fuck, all these breakouts. Like damn, this sports and this, this, this. I don't know. But what was crazy? I can see it in an American movie, and it's like, okay, I can. It's not bad. Yeah. But once it's you, it's like ah, ah. And because we know, maybe it's the way we watch other actors. Maybe it's that. Because you, you always look look at the floor in a scene. You always look at the floor. It's always oh, the people, the wrinkles. Well, I don't know about you, Sha, mm. but me, I'm, I've, I think I've. Built my psych up to a point where I don't really care about my insecurities. Because you're fucking hands. Fuck, no, fuck no. 
Well, I, have, I have so come on, I have so many physical flaws and you know. Says Beyonce. The, the, the <laughs> point is, <laughs> the point is, I don't care about my physical flaws. I'm all, I'm all, I'm the only thing I'm really concerned about is my the way I think and the way I act. It, you, you sound know? like a white person who doesn't care about police brutality right now. <laughs> police because you can't fucking police relate. Brutality. <laughs> like that, that's not your problem. You have no, fucking no, pimples. If, if, you have fucking zip. Like, if, if, you have said, if, if people have said it to me and I've thought about it from that angle that they are saying it because you're handsome, it's, it's not it's because a privilege. I'm handsome. That, no, it's not, it's not because I'm handsome. I have, come on, my hair is going in here. My teeth, your eye, your eye. my teeth are not particularly white. My ears, look, at look, I have lipoma growth on my ears. My ears are poking out to the left too much. It's not obvious. Okay, yes, but I'm aware of all that. It's, oh, it's not about, then, oh, yeah, yeah, but I don't yeah, care yeah, yeah, still, yeah, yeah, do you get? Whether you can see it or not, I'm aware of all that, but I don't care. But it takes, it takes something to be able to love yourself on camera. Yes. Because even for the most beautiful people, they can't even stand themselves. They'll be like, ah. Yeah. And, and you're like, Baba, you have, Mama, you are beautiful. Why? What are you looking at? I like, know, but I see, yeah. I see, I see. I think, I, I think, as actors, we need, you, you need to grow beyond that. Maybe it's the way we are shot. We don't have adequate lighting. We don't have lighting that flatters us as well. We don't have all yeah. these things, so you cannot trust but the it's, process. It's not just about lighting. For example, if you have to, you know, sometimes I, I think that, imagine reading a script and the, the description says that an ugly 47-year-old man, and they cast you for that. So how do you take that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, you, you read that down. You read that down. But it's, it's in the cast. It's, it's in, like we were discussing before, you know, like about how we need to cast people who look like people, like human beings. Mm -hmm. So if, if, I'm, if I'm going to cast a, a 57-year-old, I'm not expecting a Beyonce. I'm expecting a human being. If I want to cast a Dampo driver, for example, now, mm -hmm. as a lead in a movie, I'm not going to cast like a B. Jordan. I want to cast a person that has some fat on them, mm -hmm. that hasn't been, has no hair, yeah. that has um, plaque in their teeth, because that's yeah. how they would look anyway. Yeah. We spend thousands and millions of, on makeup to look like that anyway. Yeah. So why, why not just have the real thing that looks even better than yeah. the makeup? So I, 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 it's, it's a thing about beauty. For me, I mean, I'm not that bad looking, to be honest, to be fair. I got makeup on Ghani. I'm not tall. He's like tall. Oh, God. <laughs> but it would not mean, because I mean, there's Dustin Hoffman, there's Pacino, there's Tom Cruise. I mean, I mean De Niro, I, all of them are short. Yeah. yeah, yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> no, but um, like you said, I think for me, it's my personality. It's my presence when I'm in a place. Like, I can use that one too. Exactly. That, it, that, that's what makes it look like, oh, this guy is an enigma, like, he's larger than life. It's just that sense. So, you can be a small person, but don't have a small personality. Exactly. Exactly. It's, that's what I'm saying. It's all about personality and what you have yeah, inside. Only, I mean, Prince it's is cliche, like but it's the truth. Yeah. What do you have inside? You know, is what makes you assured in, in your intestines <laughs> and organs. Yeah. <laughs> or moving and okay, so let me just um, let me let me say go into my next question from that. I was going to ask some other question, but I think since we're talking about personality, okay. you know, um, as artists, I think that your personality influences a lot of uh, your art, even as an actor. Your personality influences the way you act. You know, you bring your personality into into character yeah. somehow, I some way or the other. So, you know, I'd like to know your influences because you have um, a very peculiar personality. Mm. Yeah, which is very expressive. You are not ashamed of who you are and the things you believe in. Why should I be? Exactly. No, but really, why should I be? I don't know. <laughs> in a conservative in a conservative society in Nigeria, maybe there are some people that would be. Because I am mm. a good-looking 31-year-old guy. Mm, there's more to your personality than that. Anyway, so what, what are your influences? What have influenced your, your personality? Because I believe that each, every one of us have things that build us up to the way we become. My director is fucking. <laughs> he's a fucking wimp. He can't take <laughs> weed smoke. <laughs> Moses, I thought you were a man. Like, you look like some, some really, you really, 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 Picking what? I'm not, I'm not picking shit up. You can't not cover. Is it, no, that's what we're saying. I'm yeah. coughing shit. Oh, we're saying. Um, what? Ogas. Can you stop coughing? Not a cough, Jerry. <laughs> Die. What nonsense is this? <laughs> wow. You're picking up. You're not, I'm not picking up. Like, we are not cutting shit. So where are you ready to go? I'll be ready. I, I didn't stop. Three, two, one, action. So, um, what? what 
what, thank you. Now we've forgotten. What are we discussing, please? What are the things that have influenced what are the, your personality? My personality. Yeah. Um, so I was in a set with a couple of young guys, and they said that I have daddy energy. That I like to act like I'm older than, you know, have the sense of, you were bao, you were I don't know what, maybe because we're younger, I don't know what that was. Mm. But I was surprised to hear from them that I have that, you know, like, laid back, I can't be arguing with the kids kind of energy. And um, that, that I must confess, that definitely is my father. And also Jay-Z has been a very, very big influence on my life. And just yeah, how I see life. Yes. And like, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Ha, no, but Jay on very, on, <laughs> Jay-Z on like personality. Yeah. On just like sitting back and kicking back and really analyzing the situation. And not just going, ah. And I've realized that in life, you can do a lot of things if you are um, charming. Uh. I learned something from Kenny Bancoli one time. She was discussing. Fantastic, I, fantastic actor, by the way. You have no I, idea. I she fucked me up one time on set. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to do this quick story. It was Mary made the musical before she left. She, she did it for a bit. It was a scene. The scene where she has to sacrifice me. It was pretty herself. I played, I played that same role to anyway this I want day. to be your... <laughs> that song, that's yeah. I've been mean, like, literally, and, and even during the show, me. even during the show, fans yeah. like, I, when I was in school, I played this character. I'm like, oh, I, 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 I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow, well, okay, I wasn't gonna say that, but I mean, so uh, it was rehearsal. I'm backstage talking with, with Jojo and TC, just popping around backstage. She's on stage with Amotola, like, ah, da, 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 da. I'm just like, oh, time for my, I heard the lines that call me in, and I'm like, let me go and do my scene. And I just walk, and I walk in, and I see Katie Bancoli, she's crawling towards me. Tears in her eyes. Mm. It didn't take me five seconds. I was I was a ball of tears. Mm. Cause just with the way she looked at me, yeah. I'm like, fuck. She's so fucking committed. Like, how do you do that to a person in five seconds? Mm. Like nothing in that room mattered anymore once once she looked at me. Now, anyway, so she said something once I we were discussing. She said it's, it's a Yoruba type. She called it um hey, I call it the knowing how to speak. You get a lot of things done when you know what to say to a person. Yeah. If, I want some, if I want something from you, that's an approach. You, got, you read the room, read the continents. Yeah. How do you come into a person? I feel like as, as actors, that is what we should know how to master the most. Yeah. How do you deliver the lines to give the effect you want? Yes. What do you want? Yeah, how what do you, you want? It? Then how do I get from this person? And if you fail to get it, how do you react? You know, so like, I see everything, every room I walk into is like games, okay? Because everybody wakes up every morning, to play their mind game. Everybody has a personality like, okay, yeah, it's to be the bully today, all right. Because that's how I, that's <laughs> how I can, I can power through life. Yeah. Everybody yeah, has right. something that they do, something like, oh, it's my beauty. Oh God, time to go and slay. Or something, it's their comedy. Mm -hmm. it, a, a funny person doesn't wake up funny. Yeah. You wake up like, oh fuck, bad dream, bad dream, whatever, whatever. Like, but then, but then, once I enter that room, I have funny. to, so yeah. I think I've kind of understood how to use power and how to use So you're saying you're playing a part? In a way. My personality is a, is a personality that tends to make people comfortable. Okay. I think that, that, that that's something I've, 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 I've heard about myself. Like, I'm a very good listener. I know how to really engage you and have a conversation, no matter who you are. Just when I meet you in two seconds, I'm gonna be like, I'll find something that can be like, oh, are you from this state? Or are you, are you this? Oh, you went to the same school? I'll find something that we can actually discuss. And before you know, you're comfortable with me. You know? So that's, that's a huge part of my personality. And I, I, I don't think I'm the most shady person in the world. You don't think you're the most no, shady person in the shady. world? Oh, okay, no. No, I don't, I, think, I don't so. think so, too. I don't think so, yeah. <laughs> what do you think my personality is like? Because I can't see myself. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you know, we were, saying, we were talking about personality the other, the other before we started. Mm -hmm. And I was saying people people don't really... <laughs> you always say sorry. You know, it's, it's very difficult for you to actually say who you are. It's other people that tell you who you are. Yeah. Like, you can, you can know who you are. You can feel like you know who you are, whatever. Yeah. But other people that will tell you that this is how I see you, you know, this is... One actor, two actors are. told me that I'm the kind of actor who wants to look down on everything. That I'm the actor who, I'm the theater guy who looks down on film actors. And I'm like, what, am I really? But you fall back to who you are anyway, in your heart. Yeah, but I don't know, I don't know how I'm coming across. Exactly. I don't know. I can't describe my personality. P people who do, they, they strike me as, I don't know, I feel like, how do you know yourself that much? Weird. Yeah. I can't tell you that. And again, in life, I can't, I can't say I'm a nice person. Exactly. Because I know that Moshe be means people sometimes. I can't tell you I'm an, yeah. I'm an honest person because I know I've been a liar. Like, for everything that you yeah. are, at some point in your life, exactly. you've been the other person. So, who are you? So how, how, do you, 
how can you yourself define yourself when you've been so many things to different So why did you ask that question in the first place? Yeah, it's important why? to try to, that's what, that, that's what we're doing in life every day. Except trying to figure out who we are hmm. and what we're doing here, isn't that who it? Who am I? I'm a <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Um, well, you said uh, who do I think you are. I think, um, I think I'm not Kiss. Wow. Actually. <laughs> I mean, but, I'm a guy, so I have not. <laughs> clearly. I not. Yeah. I mean, Funny but boy, beyond yeah. all that, uh, you know, you have, you are very um, compassionate oh. and very protective of, you know, people around you. You feel like, don't do that, it's dangerous. You know, it's weird, but that's how you are, I think. Like, no, wear your seatbelt and don't look oh, oh. left and ah, right. Ah, I know where this is coming from. I know, yes. I know where this is coming from. Ah. <laughs> like, wear your seatbelt and don't drive rough and, you know, eat and, you know, think yeah. of yourself and, you know, so you have that daddy, like those guys said. Oh, shit. Like, like be careful, <laughs> take care, don't make a mistake. I think I'm a lover. Do that, yes. I'm a Some lover. Compassion. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So I feel like, yes. And like um, I think you're stubborn too, Ooh. in a way, with your, with, with, with your ideologies. Mm. I think, yes. Stubborn? Yes, you have a dogged coming from, a, coming from a Malcolm X fan. Okay, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think yeah, you have a stubborn personality where you have certain ideologies and you stick to it, you know? Isn't that what a man is called? Yeah, indeed. A man, a person it's who it, actually sticks to so what, it's, you it's know? admirable anyway. It's not, it's not a bad thing, and it's just... I, I, I'm not saying coming to you that they're doing anything bad. I'm just saying, wait, but you, what, what ideologies are you talking about? Yeah? What ideologies are you talking about? Ideologies. No, yeah. we, you know, we argue a lot now. We do? Yes. No, we course. don't. We do, we do. On WhatsApp. <laughs> anyway, let's <Next. laughs> argue a lot. Hey. Yes. Most of the time we're talking about arguing some, some philosophy or some aspect of life. Smart friends. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, before we had technical issues, I was going to ask you an important question. Um, um, so, as artists, hmm. we want to entertain. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's our so that's that's want to entertain. I don't know. You yes, you always want to entertain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you want to bore your audience. Yes, you don't yeah. want to bore your audience. You don't want to bore yourself. You want to be entertaining mm. and, enter and and entertain. Whatever you want. entertainment is the soul. Mm -hmm. Is the main reason why we're doing this. No matter how you want to look at it, mm. <laughs> entertainment is the main yeah. reason why we're doing this. However, you also want to. Um, do something that is meaningful oh, yeah, totally. to you, you know, and to your audience. So I want to, I want to know what has been that the most meaningful project that maybe has shaped your thought process mm. a bit or a lot. What has been that project for that you? That changed me. Yes, not change. I don't want to use change. It's that that just like yes, that that made you. S that maybe you, you understood mm -hmm. something to this point. And then that project just made opened you, up a new world. Yes, it just pushed you further to understanding that Definitely thing Gandhi. a bit more. Okay. I wish you saw it. Yeah, I wish to. Having to play that man and to see how. That's a in, good one, actually. In a way, he was like fella. Mm. All he said was like, "Don't lose your language, don't lose, don't lose your culture." Nationalist. Yeah, like he 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 was for the culture. Yeah. Before it became cool to be that way, and as a Yoruba boy who is not aware of what the big powers are doing culturally to fuck my, 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 my people up. Mm -hmm. It's not like, there's a sense of, don't lose that. Try and don't lose it, and just try and keep a sense, have a sense, have a sense your of that. Your identity. Yeah, have, have a sense of that. So for me, it was like, damn, he's really the same things. Like he's, and, and he's not just talking, he's living it. Yeah. Like fella was living it. Mm -hmm. So to be able to have the balls to, Leave the ideologies. Because people can see fancy shit and then yeah. go up to their parents' house somewhere comfortable. Yeah. You know, and come once in a while to do walks with you. But to be able to live that life with them, yeah. I'm like, damn. Wow. And just how he did not let any race make him feel inferior. Mm -hmm. That is something I feel like as Africans, we, we really need to. We don't, we don't even realize. I'm big, I'm big on, on. We don't realize how, how um, little we think about ourselves. Yeah. I'm big on that. Of course, yeah. you've said it. I'm a Malcolm X fan. Yeah, I'm clearly. huge. Yeah. I'm huge on that, on Pan-Africanism. I'm huge on it. I, I think that Pan-Africanism is actually the answer mm. to Africa's problem. Mm. Yes, cool. in, in, the, in the larger sense, you know, when you have pride mm. in who you are, mm. when you can find economic stability 
you know, yeah. within within your yes. own community. Yeah. That's the that's and that's what Pan-Africanism preaches. Yeah, actually, standing on your own two feet. Yes. You know. Yes. So, no, unfortunately. When, so, so when we're when we're talking <sighs> about so when we're talking about all our problems, education, mm -hmm. or um, insecurity, I always bring it back to Pan-Africanism. I feel uh, like it always ends up to me in Pan Africanism. Sorry to cut you, but I feel like <coughs> a president, a, a leadership, should be very concerned about the culture of its people. Exactly. Exactly. Why is America Identity. or why why Americans so patriotic? If it's not the country so much, it's like you know Wow. I mean they are proud of themselves. Yes. You can say, Oh, this, this is an American drink. Yes. And I, I want to an American thing because they believe it, they, they love it yes. and it's so cool. And they make you love it. Yeah, they make you love it as and well. So you want to buy into it. You know, I, I was I was analyzing this thing one day, and I was telling somebody that you know, if 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 I'm if we're two people standing in this in mm -hmm. this room, and I'm trying to be like you, mm. first of all, you're not going to respect me because yeah. you're trying to be like yeah, me. Yeah, you're fun. You're just a fun. Yeah. Every other person is not going to respect me because mm. you're just trying to be like Moshud. Yeah. But if I'm expressing who I am. I'm expressing myself, I'm expressing mm -hmm. my culture, yeah. I'm expressing my language, mm -hmm. I'm expressing every, my religion, I'm expressing everything about myself. I'm going to begin to have respect and then people are going to begin to want yeah. to see what I am selling. Yeah, I'm buying to it. I'm buying to it. That's the whole idea of Af Af Pan-Africanism. Mm. Stand your ground. Yeah. But, Own your identity. But, but they, are, they are fucked up culturally, that's the thing. Yeah. We don't know how so to see Berlin ourselves. Yeah, like yeah. it's so... No, if it's not foreign, it has no value. Exactly. Once you travel out, oh, you study PFA, um, theater arts in, 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 in Nigeria, cool. You study theater arts in, 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 in I don't know, yeah. America, whatever. It's like, huh? <laughs> fuck. The slums of, <laughs> you know, and it's like, the slums of anything America. You, anything you do is like, whoa. Like, and I'm like, and that's never, I feel like with arts, you, 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 you're never too big to fail in arts. Yeah. Making right. a movie, you can be the biggest actor in. Yeah. I mean, the director in the world and make a bad film. Definitely. This thing will humble you. Yeah. You can be the biggest singer in the world and release a song that will not be a hit. Yeah. You can't say, oh, I make this film and then to sell two million copies. Or then you can't do that. You can make the best shit and then everyone's like, okay, this work. And this, maybe it is work, or maybe it's over yeah. their heads, but yeah. you don't have that power over, over, over the craft. You don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving on. Um, I know you produced. Ah. Oh, yeah. ah, 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 whatever. Yeah, I like that. I, <laughs> I like, like the title. Yeah, I love it. Intelligent. Yeah. Um, Thank you. You came up with it. I remember. Yeah. I think you asked you you asked me about it. Yeah, we talked. Yes, I think we talked about. Damn, it. we have history. Yeah, we do. Damn. <laughs> Always talking about intellectual stuff. <laughs> you know, and it's very intelligent. So, but. Um, but. Yeah, wow. Was but. Oh wow. I, let me just lay it out there. I didn't like the, the end product. I was okay. disappointed. Yes, no, I didn't like yeah, that. And I expect you to be disappointed as well because, yeah. come on, you have to though. be able to tell yourself yeah. the truth. And I was like, no. Yeah, above that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but it's, I want to ask you a question not concerning the end product. I want okay. to ask you a question concerning how that experience of producing something. Yeah. Um, oh. Is that, is that was the first time you've produced? Is that the first school, time? yeah. How did that experience affect your general outlook on the production processes, especially as an actor? Mm. You know, being an actor, you're just you're coming in um, at a certain point of the pro of the production. Pre-production has been done. Yeah. Know, there's a lot of preparation that has gone in, mm -hmm. and then you come in, and then you have, and then certain things are not going the way you want. You know, and then you have your own complaints and your own demands. But as a producer now, you have seen it from the top, from the beginning, and you can see the problems that are going to come in, in, in the front, yeah. you know, when the actors come in. So now, how, how does that, did, did that affect your, your perspective as an actor? It definitely was a growth and little experience. Um, it's funny how with great questions, it just lowers automatically. <laughs> um, I'm glad it, it happened to me. Um, it was during the pandemic. We were bored at home. We wanted to just do something. And people and actors were giving were putting out content content during the um, pandemic. And I was thinking, I want to do something that's really dope. We have, there were even auditions for stuff during the during the during the pandemic. So I'm like, how do I get myself out there so they can see me? And um 
I had a different project in a different story in line. There was a different story, you know, about two guys and whose dick was smaller than what that, that, that was yeah, the first one. Yeah. And then I was like, He told me about I mean, it. Enter so. is happening, and I'm yeah. writing this. Please, can you be <laughs> useful? Yeah. So I go, You know what? Let me write about what's happening right now and how I feel about the situation. And then that happened. And I wanted to make it, I really wanted to make it. Um, to be honest, I didn't like it from the production itself. I think I made a couple of mistakes. The mistake I made was to hire a theater director, uh. not a film director. Okay. Because for me, it was a dialogue, dialogue uh, driven. driven production. And I'd seen Kevin Mary, Omogo. Yeah. I'd seen the way he handled. Yeah. You know, please, seen a couple of them. And I'm like, oh, this guy will be the one. Because he understands drama, he understands yeah. rhythm, he knows. You know how to drive to get what he wants, and so I like this guy. We know what he wants. Last, last, if we don't have anything in terms of camera movements, we we'll have in terms of act character movements. You know, just to make it more not too stagey. Yeah. But his approach to, I wish he had a better approach to the project because he came in like he came. I remember the first read he didn't come in. He came late, yeah. and then when he comes in, he wasn't someone trying to, you know. Apologize. He just came in like trying to be a bully about everything and just tick me off. So from that point, I was like, oh, "Shit, this is, not, this is gonna be one hell of a, you know." Yeah. And then that happened. And then sh- the day of the shoot, many things happened. I I, I don't want to paint some people bad right now, or yeah. you know, but I was I was disappointed at certain people's attitude towards sort of things. So, but then it's like I raised funds and things from people he had to make something eventually he had to I had to just do something you see and sorry sorry yeah, yeah. Back, and it's always a thing when you're producing where you always feel it's it's very easy to be put off by people's attitudes mm. which is why like i'm strong on actors as well i'm i'm very critical of actors mm. and their behavior on set mm-hmm. i think that actors should act properly mm. you know but it's also a thing where producers feel easily ticked off about the attitudes of actors on set, mm. and, you know. So I'm always wondering how to find that balance and how actors can be more, be more, um, be less diva-ish. Do you understand know what I'm saying? Like you said about, I said about how yeah. you don't feel out of the production. Yes, you don't be you out like of the there. production. You're part of the production. Don't <laughs> be, don't be a problem to the production. You know, if there are certain things that you can overlook at this I moment, I don't think it's even just a casting i feel even crew has that as well yeah because crew many crew members don't respect the talent and the press of the talent yeah. itself all right because if you did you wouldn't be ha- you wouldn't have your phone ringing in the middle of a fucking good yeah. scene yeah you know exactly you're making noise exactly. or, or or doing certain things yeah. to the to the talent as well yeah. it's, it's it's both ways and i saw that thing happen on on on, on, on art the sound guy was was oh my goodness he was the most unprofessional rude thing ever and i remember the film went to shit once i lost my shit so I was trying to be like, calm, 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 don't fight. But once he just ticked me off, bro, I just went off on him. Mm. And after that, I couldn't say a line again. I kept yeah. talking. So I was, I had so much, I needed to just get it out. I was just like, so, you know, because yeah. I was angry. But I'm thankful that it happened because then, now we had a bad film. Now we're in editing. Mm. How do we make this thing work somehow? Fix it in post. And that was, <laughs> I think I needed to have the experience. Yeah. So like, how do we cheat? How do you cut this? How do we, yeah. how do we, and I'm seeing how you can make a movie mean something different with the way you edit it. Yeah. You can turn yeah. a comedy into yeah. a drama. You can, into, you can do anything with it in the editing room. And that for me, I now learned how, as an actor, how do you make your editors work easier? Exactly. As an actor, how do you make the costume or the makeup? Best? You can, there are ways you can do it that you actually make their jobs easier. And I try to do it on them set I go, not to be a problem for anybody. Mm. Because once you, have, once you have a calm situation, you make good moments, man. Exactly. Once there's a good vibe. Exactly. Because that vibe that on that set was just, you know, and my other partner who produced it with me as well wasn't too into the project. Uh, I don't know what he was going to at the, at the time. I don't want to say anything. Yeah. I don't know what his mind was going to at the time, but he wasn't really into it. So it almost felt like I was one who was doing all the heavy lifting. Yes, and so I felt the kind of resentment to the entire project but i'm like this nasa command because people have given me yeah. you know support and everything so i have to just do it but i'm thankful that it did and despite it looking not as good as i, I thought it would look like for some reason people liked it yeah of course so it, i'm it, like it's not like it was um, no and they liked it because of what they said to them like it didn't yeah. matter if the 
calling was this or the sound was this. So something about the organic nature of the performance and just the issues discussed made it feel like, you know what, well, fuck it, yeah, we'll have, we'll have fun anyway. And may, maybe films don't need to be, no, films need to be perfect. They need to be well done. Yeah, but, but there are times the when, like but there are times when, when there are issues, but if it's good enough. Yeah, if I look them. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, it, it really matured me in a very short time. I'm, I'm glad it happened to me. Yeah, I think that's a very important for actors to know yeah. that you are part of the project. You yeah. know? So, most times you don't have that perspective because you have not, yeah. you have not functioned and guess outside what? Guess what? an actor. I'm seeing that shit a lot on film sets. Yes. And it's irritating me. I'm from theatre. You don't have that sense of the actor is coming. Oh, yes, for the actor. Exactly, the like the like actor is coming. Yeah, like no, you are part that? of the project. What? You are not just coming. You are not just an external alien. You are part of the project. Like <laughs> there is no reason the why you feel like you are yes. superior. Yes. Yes. I'm a I'm a makeup artist. I can fuck you up. Yes. I'm a sound guy. I can fuck you up. Yeah. You are actually at their mercy. Who should beg them is name? Because that's last. I swear, that thing is crappy. They won't blame anybody there. Uh, yeah. Blame. So why should so you not have sense? You know, work with them. Work. Work with everybody. If no. there's a problem, sit down and say, okay, and have a how can we solve this problem? Why didn't you prepare? Yeah. This is bad. You know, there's, there are certain ways that you can approach these things. Approach instead of just going all out and just, yeah. you know. We can, but guess what? I feel, I feel like it's because they are an, an environment that allows them to be that way. Yes. For example, now, I hear yes. people talk about, oh, some people are divas, some people are that, that, that. I'm like, <laughs> no fact that you are, that you don't hear talk of your life for you actually screw up. Like, I don't care who you are. Yeah. So, like, the, the actors who normally be like, very, very arrogant on other sets would come there and be like, oh, oh shit, let's sit up because, you know, she's she, she going to get it. Yeah. You know, you could get fired and paid off and fired. That's, that's a bad attitude already. Like, yeah. everywhere you go, be professional. Yeah, but just know that, oh, but my point is just that, I eat bang one. Yeah. That's why you can give like, they're like, why would you want to be useless and stupid and just be necessarily yes. um, abrasive or petulant? Like, why would you want to yeah. be that way? Like, as a human being, sometimes there are things I want to do on set. They'll be like, oh, let me help you. I'm a human being. Can I get my own drink? Mm -hmm. Please. I'm an only child. I grew up in love. I don't need anybody to tell me they love me and then they all, don't baby me around. And they'll leave my entire fucking life. I could sneeze right now. I have a crew outside there wanting to treat me. I, I don't need you to take care of me. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I don't know how they do this your industry people. I don't know. <laughs> I swear it was like, you know, you know, you know, back. Yeah. Let's, let's all I mean, make them be part of the project. Yeah. I, just... I won't ask for something that I won't get a normal day. Yeah. I won't demand the treatment that I don't get on normal day. It's just wicked. Yeah. So that, 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 that's just how I am sure. Fine. Okay, um also I'd like to ask I know that you have you have a kind of you have a stutter. Yeah. You stutter a bit. So you know. And we were in um Debola's Debola Krishna's film together yeah, and yeah, yeah. His, which was heavy on dialogue. Yeah. And um yeah, you managed it quite well. Mm. That was a good performance. I really enjoyed it. I, I did. Think. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, you, I knew you complained about it, but I, I, I did. I did enjoy it. Um, oh no! Oh no! What? <laughs> I just like to know how how you've been able to over the years. I'm sure it's something that you're aware of your stutter and the way yeah. your speech pattern and the way yeah. you speak. So how have you been able to? manage it and use it as well because sometimes you have to use your flaws to your advantage yeah you know how have you been able to manage it and what do you want to do with it do you want to keep it nobody has ever asked away? this question before so this is the moment of me <laughs> yeah um And how 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 conscious does it make you when you need to deliver your uh, how conscious does it make you when you need to deliver, That's why deliver I love lines? Theater. You know? That's why I love theatre. Yeah. So I have enough rehearsals to get that shit out okay, of the Okay, so you know how you know my performance, yes. I know how to control my breath and I know what to yeah, do to be okay. 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 it. Okay, so that's... So yeah. I, I need to get comfortable with the line. So that's why I'm big mm, on rehearsal. Yeah, that's why you're very big on... Because, yeah, makes makes more sense yeah, now. Yeah, that's why I'm big on rehearsal. Yeah. I, I, I want to make the words fit my mouth so well. Yeah. I feel like, oh my God, it's so... You know? Yeah. You, and... and I just wish I had that... Same Crisp. song, just move. Crisp. I mean, it happens sometimes. That's yeah. the funniest thing. Like, once I'm good uh, in my lines... And just allow me to be in a particular headspace. Yeah. Forget I'm gone. Yeah. Forget I'm gone. I, I could just keep, you know. There are moments where it's like, and I feel like sometimes I overthink things. Because no one actually speaks smoothly, completely, yeah. anyway. Yes. 
So if we hear these things here and there, yeah. I mean, it just when I hear when I watch movies now, I can see it in other actors. Yeah. How they? Uh, I'm so so. Yeah. But it's so fast, you don't really catch it. Yeah. And I feel like people don't really go out of their way to listen to Miss Tucker. If it happens, yeah, it happens, and I'm moving on. So it's yeah. like about calm life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't hear you on this one line. They get the idea of the scene. Yeah. That 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 one word yeah. that we missed will not kill the yeah. entire scene. Yeah, right. Anyway, so I I I say those things to help my life. Plus, plus also working at Sarah help, has helped me a lot with the mics we use. Okay. So I don't have to do too much to to be audible. Okay. One time I did it was December. I did a show and I just literally I was like this. This was my volume. Right. I was just like this talking like that, 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 and it was such a performance. It was so fucking good. I'm like, wow. But if I had to deal with projecting as well, ah, it's a bit tense. Mm. I, I can't remember when I had to do drama without a mic. Mike. Like, it's been a very long time. It's been a very long time. I don't know how to do that. I'm so used, I'm so comfortable in this space that I, I, I will flow. But when I have to start projecting, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Stressful, yeah. stressful, yeah, yeah. But I start, and um, I don't know. It's what it is. It's what it is. You can only yeah. do your best, and then just yeah. hope. And every every actor has a way to speak. Yeah. There's a peculiarity to everybody's, you know. Yeah. Nick Olsen, Brando. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, or Oladie. Um, everybody, Pacino. me, yeah, you. There are ways, yeah. you know. Some some people are very. Uh, some are. Uh, 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 it's not punchy, it's not yeah. nuts. It's just how you are. Yeah, I have to own it. Yeah, just own it. That's the only that. That's the thing. It just and but the thing is, I have not had to play characters where I've had to be comfortable being me. Oh, okay. To be fair to myself, though, I never play myself like my kind. I always play like older or. Bring you back to my first or, question. Yeah, you know, I've had to play older, like way out character, not me. Yeah. So definitely have to change the way I talk, the way I move. For the character, I've not had to play a young person. I've not, I've not had to play personality. Yeah. I always played characters. Mm. So maybe one day when I have to play a regular person like this, maybe I'll be comfortable with stuttering to a couple of lines. Are, yeah. yeah, but if I'm going to play something else, I don't want to. He says something about how you bring your personality into your characters. I hate to do you, it. You don't want to bring because that no. personality is not who you yeah, are. Yeah, so I feel like it's but I see more should be this character. You're fucking it up. No, you, but I feel, I, I feel like you, you can't totally separate yourself from whatever, okay. no matter what. Yeah, I, but I, just, think, I think it's a fallacy I, to even try I, attempt it. No, but you can. I mean, if you're Lewis, if you're... If you're nah. If you're, if, I mean, yeah, you can. You can transform. Uh, uh, Daniel Day Lewis, I see him in all his roles. That's not true. I see his speech That's pattern in all his roles. Gangs of New York was different. Is Daniel Day Lewis York. expressions. Gangs of New York was Daniel Day Lewis expressions and don't Denzel Washington's. Da no, Daniel Day Lewis Denzel, had. No, don't, don't do that. Like you not can Denzel, see not Denzel. his style. Denzel is the same person. I mean, he's like. Daniel Day Lewis Denzel. is. Every, all I, I, of them have. I, I wouldn't even, say that. All, all of them. Yeah, Brando. All no, of them have. Yeah, I mean, I just. It can be composure, it can be speech pattern. You see the person. No, but a Pacino in. Devil's Advocate is not the Apachino in Godfather. No. It's not, it's not, the, it's not the Apachino it's in not. House of Gucci. It's not. It's not. I, I can't not in the way that. they move or talk. Yes. Yeah, yeah yes. so it's possible. Yeah, I mean, of course, there are some projects where they actually... So I won this argument. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there are some points where actors actually come out of themselves. Yeah. And, you know... And, and, I mean, and it's happened to me before. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I, mean, I can really imagine Gandhi. You, can, yeah. you, can, oh, yeah. you cannot just be oh, yourself. Yeah. I mean, it's impossible. You, you can't bring yourself to it. Exactly. Or playing Awo. Or playing Akintola in Awo. So play, I was like, oh look at me. Even even in the the way the body the rhythm of the body, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, that was, that's me. I like when I, I can't see uh. this clumsy little guy here. <laughs> I in any way. You know, yeah, that. But but I agree. But in in in, in a different plane. Uh. I feel like we are more interesting people as ourselves when we act. There's something about just owning yourself that makes it beautiful to watch. It's the same way why this would be beautiful to watch. Yeah. Because almost like all, all we are giving right now is. It's, yeah. it's not body, definitely. It's not. It's not body. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's just vibes yeah, just and personality. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's what actually just comes across to you. Like, that's why I like that guy. Yeah. You just exactly. get one vibe. You just get one. Exactly. There's nothing about them. But yeah. we don't really write half of that. We don't have. We don't write vibe into people in Nigeria. Yeah. I, I said one thing in our films. 
we always go straight to the point. Yes. Just I come to the like scene. Yeah, so tell me, the car is. How about you? After I, you know, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and so, this. Because that's her personality is. Yes. It's in the doing. Yes. And the, 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 the answer to it is that you can go straight to the point, but go straight to the point the way that character will go straight to the point. Mm. Because you do understand? Because mm. you are writing a story, and the story has to go straight to the point from a writer's perspective. But to make this person go straight to the point, mm -hmm. if a Moshut comes in and he wants to go straight to the point, he's going to say, fuck it, fuck it I need a drink. Yeah. Oh. If I come in, do you understand what I'm saying? If I come into a scene and I want to go straight to the point, ah. I'm not going to say, fuck it, I need a drink. I'm going to say, yeah. man, I need a drink. Mm. So that's how you bring mm. in... Mm. You you can go straight to the point, but you can bring in character into the point. As against just going straight like, to the so point, like the writer. Like, like, yes, like... It's too... It's too... It's too... They say, they say we should go studio, to the point. Studio, exactly. Let's they say we should go straight to the point, too. So, uh, I uh, want a drink. Yeah. Everybody's just saying, I want a drink. I want no, a drink. I, I think all problem, the films, I want a drink. Next. I think it's all just speaks to the problem we have as a, as as an industry and how we... We, we don't we don't love storytelling anymore. Yeah. We don't know what... It, we don't value human conversations, human intercourse. Yeah, why do you have to do intercourse? I'm but? sorry, but you know, back to my, to, to the night I told about in my, in my, with somebody in bed, yeah. somebody the other day, and how, like, we're just having a conversation, like, just people talking. That thing's sweet. Yeah. Like, it's sweet to have two people who are interesting. Memorable and... Have a conversation is sweet, die. Mm -hmm. And it, it, must not, it must not be the deepest things. Yeah. I want to see a character who has an opinion. Exactly. Like, oh, what are you drinking? Coke. Coke is rubbish. I don't give me some A person in real life will say it. But now, as a police, I'm, ah, me, I want uh, the ambassador. I want their own uh, yeah. I mean, they, 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 they. <laughs> But the person would say that. Yeah. If a, a person could call someone a faggot now, just cause faggot. And that's his or character. You, forget, because that's not who he is. Forget your own Yeah. But like, as actors, we are all, we are, we are, we are, we are products now. Yeah. No characters anymore. We are all products. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to be a certain brand. And yes. so we can't really say sh like I'm there's an actor, one one um, northern actor, he, he doesn't kiss in his movies. For the fans. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate that shit. For the fans. Yeah, like how can my <laughs> fans have power over my art? Yes. Hmm. Really? Like my fans will not like me like if I do this. My fans will not fans like this, 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 this. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck fuck y'all. I'm the artist here. You're mm -hmm. the one who's supposed to be looking up to me. So if I create yeah. this character, <laughs> you better fuck with it. No, it, it. Don't be my fan. Just go. But once you're always thinking of what the audience would think about that, 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 who cares if you look fat today? Who cares if you look... Yeah. Who cares if you... I, I, I was on the scene. This was like last last year. I'm, I'm turning to a guy's wounds. And I go... Because he's flinching. I'm like, I, I thought, why do you act like a woman now? <laughs> You're like, no, you can't see that. Uh -huh. I'm like, I can't see that. But this character... Yeah. I mean, I as much would not say that as a normal day. But that guy thought yeah. that guy in that guy's reality he would say something yeah. like that. Like that guy does do like that. Yeah. Say, do guys see that shit a lot. It's a thing that yes. you know. I said no. I just took it out. I had to replace it with child or something. With what? Child. I'd like picking. And like Like it just sticks out, mm, you know, you know. Like because you want to be politically correct. And this is this political correctness. It has is even beyond Hollywood. Even in Hollywood, they're beginning. They're beginning yeah, yeah, to absorb course. the bullshit. Ah, nah, nah, they're always trying to. They're not that many. I'm not very like. Yeah, let characters let have opinions be. and live and yes, say things if like. This guy wants to say fuck. When you the watch Nigerian flag, let him say I'm it. From the guy last week and you know it's dialogue and mm -hmm. shitty dialogue. Crazy, like crazily mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. And then it's, someone references a bad uh, references a, an actor's performance that was horrible. <laughs> and I'm like, you just this the face of a man. Yeah. And it's supposed to be on film for life. For life. That this guy was bad in this film. It was just a line. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. But that is almost reality. That's his character. That's what he wants to say. Yeah. That's what he says. Yeah. And that's what we all say behind, behind closed doors. Yeah. 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 I want to see a bigot. I want yes. to see a homophobe. I want to exactly. see it not in, in a sense of, you know, a person can, can be nice in a movie. And it's like, oh, those gay guys. Fuck it, what the fuck is that? That's just who he is. Yeah. That's just people like that. Yeah. But you want people to be all good or all bad. And I feel like as human beings, they're more complex than that. Yeah. You know? I should yeah, write I again. I should write again. You should. I should. Um, I was a good script anyway. Thank you. Yeah, I was. Okay.
um, um, yeah, you are an estate, estate, aesthetic. Really? Yeah, you are an aesthetic mind. Yeah, you appreciate pictures. And oh yeah, beauty. Oh, I'm yeah, big of beauty. I'm big of beautiful things. Black, mm, beautiful especially things. Especially black. Beautiful black things. Black, black bodies. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, black <laughs> bodies. Black feet. This is black black fingers. This is, this is, this no, but what's everything? Isaac black, is black. always. Isaac I'm makes a, me laugh when he says it. Like, he, he always says it that like. Like you just want black bodies. There's no story. There's no, no. Just black bodies. I want to cast a screen. movie and have like just like it makes me laugh. people in a movie and yes. like them and make them look like God. You know, <laughs> just, just want to see black bodies yeah. on the screen. I love black bodies. Yeah, bodies are very beautiful. I noticed you love, you love black bodies a lot. Yeah. And, it's, and it's, I, I, I appreciate it. Okay, so being an estate, estate, and I hope I, I'm getting the pronunciation of that word right, and an artist, you know, you have dreams. Yeah. You know, you have um, certain things that you want to bring into life, like black bodies <laughs> yeah. be represented in a, in, a, in a very artistic way. You well, know. I, like, I might produce one. Yeah, that's where I'm going to. Like anyway. a child? You already answered my question. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> black bodies. Like, what's this? The guy that made them, um, if Bill Street could talk, he has that kind of vibe. Yeah. He appreciates uh, what's the blackness. Yeah. Directed by. Barry, Jen yeah, Jen Jenkins. Jenkins. Barry Jenkins. Barry Jenkins. Yeah. I think he's directed Moonlight as well. He has this style and this he appreciates blackness and yeah. he frames blackness and black skin. He ought to. It's beautiful. He should. You know. And he should. Yes, and I know I know that you have that kind of attitude towards blackness and you know the kind of art you appreciate and the kind of music you appreciate, the kind mm. of things you appreciate as mm -hmm. an artist. You know, but w um, working in an industry where an industry that is very, very choking, mm -hmm. uh, kind of it, it can it can it can suppress your attitude towards art in, in many mm -hmm. ways mm -hmm. because you have to work with people that are not interested in those kind of things, or yeah. you have to get into oh yeah, finding <coughs> people who understand yeah, the idea. So how do you find? So my question is finding people that you can work with, mm. and you know. What are your hopes? What are your dreams towards, you know, bringing your aesthetic um, dreams dreams to life? to life? You know, how how do you want to navigate the reality of no, but, our industry? But, that, but that's our reality. And and your in our films, we have all colors in our films now. We don't have a color problem. In our, mm, I can't say that shit because girls go through. Even guys go through that shit. Um, last, last, let's get the fonts. You can do what you want when you have the fonts. It's not that difficult, really. Once yeah. you have the power, once you call the shots, and you can do what you want. It's not, it's not, it's not that hard. It's, it's yeah. not that hard. When I have the funds to do what I want to do, I would be like, nah, but I want to show people who are darker than this people. But I'm not, I'm not just talking forever. about blackness, though. You know, that's that, just in terms of ideas and ideas. ideas and stuff. Yes, and See, but once you have the money to call the shit, and you, can and, find, and, all that. and you can find a person who kisses into your belief. But are you ready? For what? Right now. Do you have stories that. I didn't have. I didn't have a story to that tell. That to help also. you explore those those things. I'm not ready yet. I'm, I'm not no, ready. no, no, and I and I say that like, I have stories, I have stories, but I think I want to tell a new set of stories. The way I've matured in the last two years mm. is like you've not been looking deep enough into life. I've not, I've not been living. You've not. I've not been living. Fantastic. Yo, up until that weird moment, the moment watching Hoodlum. <coughs> I don't understand what it meant for, for it. and also last year I lost three people that they had to close like you know, I experienced loss as an adult for the first time last year. It hit me like bad, 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 bad. And now I see that life is ticking. Everything is temporary. So now that you have it, capture it, appreciate it. Dance inside it, soak yourself inside it, like treasure the moment you have right now. And so it's making me see life differently. Making me see relationships differently. And I'm seeing things I didn't even see before. I'm not more compassionate, I'm not, I'm not more understanding. So I feel like going forward, I want to write from that place and act from that place. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, it was nice. That was it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. I, I have, I have, so, trust me, I have so many questions. Yeah, sneak one in first. What do you so, th this, this particular one is, is a bit controversial. 
Uh, Are you sure you want to go there? I don't have controversy, but I don't have controversy. I'm, I'm talking about, so you're, you're very expressive about your sexuality. Why would you say that? You are, of course. Why, why is that business, though? No, uh, no, it's no, not. but really, why is it defensive? Why defensive? <laughs> Look at no, that. no, but not saying <laughs> like <laughs> why? Why do you feel like? Who carries on? Why do you feel like? No, 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 no. no. I'm, not, I, I'm not trying to be. You know, Calm down. I'm not saying like to my why? Do, why? First. Why do you have to ask this question? Listen, Mike, don't worry now. That's what demonic. Because the last question in an interview is my powerful one. Because that's when that's when I'm actually sticking with the audience going forward. <laughs> of all things to discuss. That's what demonic. How to do this? Wow. That's what demonic. You have to do it like this. So, are you done? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm done with this shit. I'm <laughs> yeah, I woke up your fucking set. Ah, God. You want to ruin re my career, Abby? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, that's it.